Helsing 920's fanboys rant on the console war itself. Okay, I'll watch it. I'll buy it. I don't mind this two intro thing, because he, he actually pulls it off pretty good. I will say that much. Although, the next part's just a bunch of people. Where is stating his opinion? Like fact! <laughs> Console War is a special crossover with one of my other web web series. Yes, folks, tonight in episode four, I'm talking about the fanboys. Yes, this is a special fanboy chronicles edition of the console war. See, a lot of people wanted me to do to do fanboy chronicles videos for the longest time on the Microsoft fanboys, the Sony fanboys, and the Nintendo fanboys. But you know what? Since all three groups are almost identical, similar to how really. PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360 are almost identical, Not really I again. decided to say, fuck it, I'm going to mash all three groups together because there's no point in wasting three videos on this. So yeah, let's start, shall we? Let's start okay. with Nintendo's fanboys. Yes, there are fanboys out there. Most of them will say, no matter what happens, the Wii is the best system out there because it's the most revolutionary. Isn't it? I mean, it makes sense that the Wii is the most revolutionary of it. Of its whole console, of this console war, but... My money's still on PC winning it, so... Let's see. What else he says that's... Pretty bad? Because it has Wii motion technology. Okay. I'm gonna say this right now. Okay. Nintendo's finally mastered exactly how the power glove should have fucking worked, okay? That doesn't mean you have to shoehorn it into every single fucking game, okay? Why not? <laughs> Punch out is a pain is a pain in the ass when you're using the Wii mode and the nunchuck, you're gonna wind up using the classic control setting, at which point you just wasted fifty dollars on something you could have spent five on on the virtual co console. You're getting the, you're getting the, um, are you gonna try to say that, that they're the exact same game? Cause, from what I saw on Punch-Out for the Wii, it's actually a lot different than Punch-Out on the NES. Exact same game, speaking of that, I actually did buy a copy of Punch-Out. Great, thanks for that. At $50, the game is grossly overpriced. This thing should have been a budget title without question. Should have been a $20 title at at best. Okay? Not really. I'm going to say that right now, and now I know I'm going to get a ton of hate mail. Cause you just did. There's a lot of people who seem to fucking adore that goddamn game, and I don't know why. I really don't. But moving on. Okay. Nintendo also, the fanboys, they love to fucking try to say that you know, their fucking system is the best because it has Mario, it has Link, it has Samus, yes, it has... Uh, what's wrong with all three of those? Even though I don't mind seeing all three of those characters, but what's wrong with all three of them? Zelda, Mario, Metroid. You know what, the CDI had Mario and Zelda, and that system was a piece of shit. Uh... Maybe it was because Nintendo didn't make the CDI games? Ever think of that, Helsing? And the games on it were total garbage. So that argument is so that argument is completely flawed. And Metroid, well, Metroid really hasn't put out a good a good game in years. Because frankly, these fucking Metroid Prime games suck, with the exception of Metroid Prime Pinball. In his opinion. Notice he could have said, in my opinion, Metroid Prime could have sucked. And Metroid Prime Pinball is good. Really? It doesn't take that much of a genius to figure out that it's your opinion. Now, we get down to the nitty gritty. Anyway, and of course Zelda, it's been the exact same fucking game since Ocarina of Time, and all of Mario's 3D... Not really. Wind Waker, completely different from Ocarina of Time. Definitely different. Um... Although... 
It's a mu although it's a lot different from all the other Zelda games, I could compare that one to a lot of the different Zelda games. Okay, never mind. Continue. Outings have been just Super Mario 64 only with souped up graphics and in the instance of, of the last game, in space. What about Paper Mario? Huh, Helsing? Huh? What about Paper Mario? You forgot about this in your entire rant! <sighs> whoop de doo Okay. Yeah, but see, that's all that Nintendo has to offer. That is, and that is all that the fanboys can bring to the table, is all the mascots. But they don't bother to mention, folks, that there are a lot of properties which, which Nintendo owns, but they've never utilized. Or they have never utilized properly. Folks, it has taken years for a good Fire Emblem game to come out on the DS. Yeah. So, so it doesn't take us that long. It doesn't take us that long to figure it out. And what about on the Wii? The Wii has one. The GameCube had, I believe, one. The GBA had one. Folks, there's 16 games in that goddamn series. If I'm not. It says right here. Actually, it's it's only been 10 games. My bad. Which means I think he did it. I think he did this solely without any research. Alright, never mind. Mistaken. Why the fuck don't we have more of those? Same thing can also be said for Earthbound and Kirby. These are two franchises which Nintendo has sat on, and the fanboys are not, you know, clamoring at the gates going, I want a Fire Emblem game! No. Um, maybe because they are waiting for Nintendo to make one? Don't get me wrong, Elsling. You make a good, you make a good, you make a good opinion right there. Right there. I mean, I'm still. I mean, I'm still hoping that Nintendo would make a true Zelda for the Wii and a true Kirby Kirby game sent 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 to America for the Wii and probably another game for the Wii. Then, then yeah, the Wii would be a good console in this race. Right now, I see it basically almost in last place but it's still winning don't get me wrong because the sales it's still winning so yeah they're going i want another zelda title man i don't want to have a mario game no you don't you don't need a mario game all right uh since i know dark scream and big al said this but What's wrong with another Mario game? And it's you forcing your own opinion on other people. They have put out the same motherfucking game three times now, and they've already announced a fourth. So guess what? Fuck you. I say we take Mario out back, we shoot him right in the head, right next to Sonic. What the hell? Okay, okay, okay. You want to kill Mar- You want to shoot Mario right next to- this guy right here, yes, this is a game, I know I have it, blah, 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 blah. You want to shoot Mario right next to them? There's only one thing missing right here. Mario's games didn't suck like his. Oh, God. That was the Nintendo part. I'm in for something. Way beyond Nintendo's capacity by the end of the video. Because I know he's going to switch to Microsoft pretty soon, and I know what he's going to say about Microsoft pretty soon, too, so it doesn't really matter. But, really? Helsing? You need, you, need, you need some more facts in the console war itself. What you're mostly doing is stating your opinion. And that is a bad thing to do in a rant about fanboys. So I'll end it right here and continue this video probably tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow.